Okay. Take two. Oh, good shit. You ruined it, bitch. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Olivia's here. What's up? It is Michael. Hi, I'm Zach. Guess what? We are now officially lipstick and the tea. Oh my god! On we finally got to change glitter parts because this motherfucker was going <laughs> name change happy. Every month yeah. I would go and try to change it, and it said change name change too recently. I was like, damn it! So this time when I did it, I was like, okay, it's not gonna work. And then it worked. And the first thing I did was I am both of you motherfuckers and say, <laughs> guess what? In all caps. We are now officially Lipstick and The Tea. The Tea. The podcast. So, thank you guys. Tracy. Um, lipstick and Tracy. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't the know. the fuck who. is Tracy? <laughs> what? Uh, I thought we were Jessica. Anyways, so thank you guys for having to deal with the glitter farts and then glitter gossip in the very beginning. In the very, very beginning. Um, and then Glossin, so, Miss Glossin. So we we are official. It's kind of like me being... Pop of the chop. Oh pop my of gosh. the gosh. Well, Michael's like, pop of the tops. It's kind of like when I found out who my real dad was and he actually accepted me. Glitter farts? What? <laughs> I'm talking about the name. Oh, okay. Whatever. Anyways. Well, what are we talking about today, Olivia? Christ. Okay, so we're talking about makeup mistakes. I thought we were talking about beauty trends. Bitch. <laughs> makeup mistakes that we see that we absolutely hate, right? Uh, and then some okay. that we do ourselves. Yeah, because mm. we still do some dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think I do everything perfect because my skin looks amazing. What is? Look at any of my photos on my Instagram. Your eyebrows are sponsored by Sharpie. I know. <laughs> okay, anyways. You want to start first, Michael? <laughs> of course, Zach. Uh, did I tell you that how much I love you? What a great bitch. By the way, this Gosh. fool, guys, he told me not to be a pussy and finish my shot. And I finished mine and he didn't even finish his. Well, yeah. Okay. I didn't say I didn't have to be a pussy. Ugh, whatever. Okay, so the first thing I hate for makeup mistakes slash trends is embellishing a beauty mark. Okay, we get it. You have a beauty mark. But does it really take you grinding it in like a screwdriver to a board with your pencil? We get it. I know, and it's, they always make it like perfectly circular, and I, no, no freckles like that. And it's always straight pitch black. Yeah, like and, get get like a soft brown or yeah, something. Make it look like melanoma, where it's natural, <laughs> you know. <laughs> melanoma. <laughs> you look like a wart. <laughs> you look like an that way it looks natural. <laughs> Snatural. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Snat it's natural. Okay, we'll have to figure out what that means. Anyways, I hate when people embellish beauty marks over drawn. Yes, Zach, however you said. Okay. What do you guys think about that? Do you I agree. Over? I like, mean, I don't mind people filling in their beauty marks to make it like more apparent. Like, oh, like if you put foundation and stuff on top of it, you know, mm -hmm. just to make it not look gray. Because sometimes I, if I'm wearing like a sheer foundation that doesn't cover my one by my eye I'll fill it in with like a like a brown or something though but I don't yeah when it's pitch black and it, when someone when you could tell they use liquid liner for it I always think that's uh, so nice. or like, you yeah like I said and they're you... white no offense like white girls but y'all don't have black fucking freckles yeah that's true <laughs> so hey, don't call them back uh, the worst celebrity that does it is Lil Kim with her beauty mark above her lip look at it her makeup I thought it was a herpes sore <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's not a rash, it's a herpes sore. Anyways, no. But anyways, love you, Queen Bee. Anyway. Okay, Olivia? <laughs> anyway, Olivia, um, what's up anyway? So, I, it still drives me crazy so like when I see like a really harsh contour line that still needs to be softened Ooh, and blended. You're close, like, you're close on one of mine. I'm mm. like, oh, fuck. If, if I look at you and like I'm like... <laughs> I'm like trying to find where a brush is so I can come over and blend and that shit up. And you're at Walgreens and you're like, shit, will a Brillo pad work? Oh, fuck, I get it. I'm not going to name names, but one time, one of my girlfriends came to the club and we were dancing and having fun and she met me inside. I was already in the club when she met me inside. And we were like, oh, let's go to the bathroom. Went to the bathroom and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> And so I started smearing that contour up because I was like, what did you do? Like, 
<laughs> Shout out. You know who you are. Love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, yeah, I remember one of those times I was like, what the fuck? I tried grabbing, like, tissue my paper. My contour is supposed to be subtle. It's supposed it's, to, like, yeah. define, like, it shouldn't be the first thing anybody sees. So if it's the first thing that I see, I'm like, okay. Thank you for saying that because it's supposed to complement to look. The first thing I see. I'm about to, like, karate chop and blend. <laughs> with, like, the like, palm a, of my hand. Sometimes you want a strong contour, but you have to know how to, like, you have to blend that. Bit, it still needs know? to be softened and it still needs to be, it still needs to appear natural looking. And if you ever feel like your contour is too strong, use like some setting powder and tap it on top. It's veiling it. So like it makes it less strong. Because have you ever gone into a contour and be like, oh shit, way too dark. Or it's like a way to kind of like people don't know how to it. blend. People like sometimes people like blend it straight and it looks like a, like a straight Flick angular upwards. line. And it feels like a straight angular line. It like makes like your face look sharper. Almost like a goat. Like it's yeah. like a, like a, like and a, it could make the, not the greatest skeleton. of all time. Yep. Like you look like a fucking goat. Not the greatest of all time. <laughs> and, and instead of, um, and instead you of, you ain't drank. <laughs> <laughs> see, I thought, okay. I am chop. But instead of make, instead Pork of carving chop. up the face or making it look, you know, definition. It looks gaunt. It looks gaunt. It looks theatrical. I told this to all the people. I, I always see clients that come in and they already have high cheekbones, a good jawline thinned out nose you know like me naturally mm -hmm. and i'm like remember if you are contouring you're going to look more theatrical because people are trying to achieve what you have it's ridiculous and i know a lot of drag queens always talk about carving out their face they have to because they got the stage lights yes and plus not only that but our you male faces are predominantly more masculine mm -hmm. so very good one olivia okay. i will jump in on the, like a contour boat i hate it when people use like gray toned contours who can't like who aren't the proper skin tone for a gray tone contour because yeah, 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 yeah. people are always like oh use like cool tone contour no i am like i'm asian native american i got some yellow in my skin i'm tan you know if i try to use a gray tone contour i look fucking stupid it so, looks like i'm going in with like ash on my face so who should be wearing gray toe contours Just if your to... hair is red if your name is hermione <laughs> if, if you... <laughs> i don't know who that is <laughs> if your parents are caucasian you could probably pull off a great cone conquer yeah okay. yeah a great concord great 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 a great but... concord jelly <laughs> If your name is Edward Cullen, if you, if you live in Twilight, you could probably pull off a gray tone contour, you know? All right, Zach, now that you piggybacked on me and Olivia's choices, what's yours? What the fuck was your choice? Mine was the fucking beauty work, motherfucker. Oh, well, I just had a lot to say about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> great contoured contour. One of my biggest pet thieves was you see like a girl who has like a snatched makeup, like full beat face and everything like that. And then she goes to look down and you see like a makeup line on her lashes. If you don't cover your lashes with liquid eyeliner on top, oh, you know? Oh, oh, like, okay. Like lashes that you've had for like a couple days, you know, they get some makeup on it. Uh, you have to just take a couple yeah, seconds, yeah. go over that line one more time. It takes like... When it there's like eyeshadow seconds. powder yeah. all over like the top of the Make lashes. sure your lashes are black because if I could see your lash... Like, it's going to ruin the whole thing. I'm going to think you're shit. Yeah. Not like your shit, but like your makeup skills. <laughs> I'm not going to think less of you. I'm just going to think that you can... So basically, they should person. have never been born, right, Zach? Because you just <laughs> yeah. totally made them all feel like terrible people. No, but just take that extra like 20 seconds. Like... To make sure you have like a clean lash yeah. on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do your liquid liner first. Do a layer and then do of mascara it after. first. And then do it after. Because you know what? Eyelashes uh, and do it after. Yes. Because I've seen a couple times, it doesn't happen often, where you see people wearing false eyelashes with nothing underneath. And you just like float and lash and you're like, Ooh. Yeah, you literally see like the, the lash band, especially yes. when the lash band yes. is like separated and you see like it's clear. Pla plastic, <laughs> plastic lash, plastic lash, plastic lash. And you're like, oh shit, bitch. You couldn't even like put a little bit of line on like, top of yeah, that. Yeah, your placement is amazing, but I'm not going to think you're good at makeup because what is going on? And if you're new to lashes, you know what? This is a good tip. So Get, better. You, Get better. Get <laughs> better. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stay on the lash boat. There's nothing I hate more than spidery lashes. God damn it, that's one of mine. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. it, it's it, true. Oh my god, you can have flawless like a makeup. tarantula. Yes, you know you can have flawless eyelashes, or I'm sorry, flawless makeup. <laughs> sorry, the Sved Svedvedka Harmony vodka is kicking in. What was it called, Svedka? Anyway, mm. um. You could have flawless makeup, flawless hair, and all I see is these things coming at me, dangling like um, a cure Your video. Eyebrows. 
Like a cure video? <laughs> you know the cure. The cure, yeah, I know, I know. Like Eminem's. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, because I, I feel it. like... When they ball yeah, up at the end. like get a fucking Ugh. lash comb. A lash comb is like very, very essential for anybody who like, likes to wear... Bitch, use your hairbrush. Oh, shut up. Like, <laughs> yeah. He didn't get a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, shut up. Yes, but, um, and stop taking your eye uh, um, mascara one and doing it side to side with your lashes. Oh, that drives me nuts. Yeah, because then it looks like you had now have like three really, really gross lashes. <laughs> Oh my god. That's true. It's though. true because like they do, they do, they they do clump roll. together. They do clump together and it looks like four or like three gross ass lashes. Yes, yeah, so like, really thick. Yep, and the main intent to have my lashes look so long and luxurious, you completely um ruin that whole point by making them look like they're four thick small ones. <laughs> For like little worms, <laughs> little, little tarantulas. Yeah, like nubs, nub zone. lashes. Exactly. Yeah. So what you can do is like to a lot of people who don't know is that like when you put, applying your mascara, like if you're going to be using side to side, you you have to make sure that you separate your lashes so you can take like the lash comb and like um, what is it? Um, Item sold separately. Ro- <laughs> Um, or stolen rotate like, any, yeah. like the lash wand on top of like your lashes instead uh, of cutting mm-hmm. underneath that will help to separate yep. a little bit more mm-hmm. and I feel like I and think, don't do it after it's dry because that's you could pull oh, yeah. on your lashes and like rip them out doing it so like a little wet and malleable yeah like you have to do everything pretty fast is if you wait until everything is dry and you try to add on more mascara that's what's going to cause extra clumping that's what's going to cause extra flaking mm-hmm I know when, when girls are like, I put on a layer of mascara and then I let it dry. And then I do another one and then I let it dry. And then I do another one and let it dry. You're unless like, you're like, yeah, mascara, I can tell. Unless you're, some mascaras. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that and you could tell. Some mascaras can do that and they could like bomb, but a lot of them, they clump together and they look yeah. ratchet. Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, my yes. turn. No, it's my turn. Oh, yeah. We're going we, in a circle, bitch. You just talked about lashes for like 30 minutes. Sure. Whatever. Well, okay, so mine is. So. What drives me crazy sometimes is when people don't know really how to use bronzer and they use bronzer as their foundation. Michael, <laughs> um, are you talking about you? Am I talking about you? No, maybe. Am I talking about... No, some... he uses foundation and then he uses bronzer as foundation. So it's like different. <laughs> but here's the, here's the thing. Um, okay, why don't you guys just take turns hitting me with the two by four? <laughs> Go ahead, Olivia. If you insist. <laughs> here's my thing. It's because like bronzer is supposed to add warmth to the face. Yes. And, that's supposed to, and I feel like bronzer was like the original contour, mm-hmm. right? Because it added that warmth. It added that shape and dimension without creating like really harsh shadow lines yeah because like contouring is beautiful in pictures and things like that but in real life like when you're looking at somebody you're like oh you your mean, features are too like sharp and, like, should get and you can, out, yeah like, and you can see that like okay you're definitely wearing a lot of makeup to really make like that why are you pointing um, at me like that bitch what sorry the- you're definitely wearing I'm, a lot of i'm makeup. just pointing <laughs> um nothing eludes more than the truth okay and so whenever I, I see, like, especially, like, girls who, I feel like maybe, like, some women don't know how to use bronzer. Mm-hmm. I've and, seen and I'm some like, boys okay. do it, too. And there's a few that I've seen, you know, not not you. But I'm like also, that. but if we look at, like, the extreme <laughs> of wearing bronzer as foundation, mm-hmm. think of the girls who, like, are always, like, deeper. Too tan where their face is like, like a little tanner and, they, and no dimension. There's no dimension, and like the bronzer that they use is like a reddish orange. Uh, and I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, you are the definition of like that oompa loompa bitch because. <laughs> and bronzers normally aren't based on like skin tones for the most part. No. You know, it's based on like, like no one has that skin tone all over normally. Yeah, because when you have a girl that's really fair. Or a boy that's really fair and they have a lot of redness. When that redness is cut out, they are going to look pale Super yeah. with their foundation. Yeah, so absolutely. a bronzer was initially created to put that sun-kissed look back into their skin. Yeah, but yeah. if you put bronzer all over, you still look flat, just darker. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. It's fucking true. Unless there's a shimmer, bitch. No, because I did this. I remember using bronzer as foundation all the time in high school because I all my friends were white. And that's like, I would be like, oh, shoot, I forgot my foundation. I'll just use your bronzer. And like looking back at it, I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> but, you know, you live and you learn. I've seen those pictures. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh shit. 
Whose turn is it now? One of the biggest makeup mistakes I see is people closing off their waterline with black liner. Mm. You know? Wait, Cause, explain. Because, you know, like, when a girl... Think of that 90s girl. Concealer lips, eyeliner all around the eyes, top and bottom, and they have little eyes. It closes oh, off their light. Yeah. Eyes. Oh, it okay, little okay. eyes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It doesn't accentuate your eye shape. I have little eyes, so if I close off my eye, and I look closed off. It looks way smaller than it normally is. I kind of look more bitchy, too, honestly. Like, so if I'm going for that look, sometimes I do do it. But, like, just no, like, when someone's just wearing, like, just foundation and just pitch black eyeliner all the way around their yeah. eye. Like, I do see a lot of, like, clients, especially who, especially clients who have, like, blue eyes or green eyes. Or they want to make it pop more. They have beautiful eyes. But, like, they it make detracts it from it. But if you circle, especially for, like, an everyday look, if you do, like, the um, liner on the top and on the bottom, like, you... You, you have, like, raccoon eyes. Like, yeah, like, your It makes you like look striking. like you're wearing way more makeup than you actually yeah. are, you and, know? Yep, and on It that... makes you look cake-faced, even if you're just wearing a BB cream and just black eyeliner. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's going to look like they're wearing more makeup than me, who has, like, full face of everything, but it's because it's placed differently, yeah. you and know? also, oh, that's such a good point. Also, for the women that are older or more mature clients, have you noticed the women that are... Still using nothing. They have these piercing blue eyes, piercing green uh-huh. eyes, Beautiful. but they have nothing but g- black all around their eyes. That's the first thing I see from you. Yep. And rather than making your eyes stand out, it makes you look like an older woman wearing nothing but eyeliner. It just makes eyeliner. you look more tired. It yes. just sinks it in yes. too. It pulls that back because when you think of like, sh- like color theory and shadow and stuff, like black pulls back. So it like almost makes the eye look sunken in. Yep. Everything you know? has to be blended. Everything has to be even and balanced. You know? Yes. Yeah. So, oh, I totally agree. That's a good one. Right? Headlight. Okay. So, mine is a common concern that I... Uh, Are these ones that we do now, too? No. This is still one that drives me crazy. I don't wear... You started. Shadow. How the fuck did you not do three already? Um, just listen. <laughs> Eyeshadow that's not blended. Where you... It literally looks like you took a swipe... And one, then, of the, one of those little sponge tip apples, yes, the, the yes. Barbie tampons. Yes, <laughs> and then do another swipe. Tampons. They look and like Barbie tampons. Swipe. And it's, it does nothing for you. Eyeshadow should be like a dream. No ending, no beginning. Blend it. Oh, that was a good way to say it. Thank you. Yes. You were like a dream, just over. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But when I'd wake up, I'd still be there, baby. What's up? Ugh, don't move your arm away from me. Anyways, <laughs> but yes, so that drives me crazy. Unblended eyeshadow, I don't think I need to say anything else about it. So, I know we've picked up <sighs> a lot of people a lot. Well, I was going to okay. add, I want to add to like this <sighs> unblended eyeshadow. Hey, okay. <laughs> I really like that women use, or people will use like tape to yeah. create like that angled look. Mm-hmm. But it looks so sharp and unblended. Like soften that line You have to out. go back and soften it out after you've created soften that shit. Soften that yeah. shit out. Yeah, and I for, use bronzer a lot of times. And, and my bronzer to soften those out if I'm working with like browns and like warms and stuff. I just use my bronzer to soften it out just to make it less harsh by still using a color that's already on my face. You know? And don't get us wrong about not wanting that beautiful sharp edge. There are differences between a photo makeup Runway makeup, club makeup, but yeah. everyday makeup, when you come into a store and you can apparently see, oh, I know what she did. Yeah. That's where you're She like, put some tape on her face. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to a concert or some shit, fuck yeah, tape your face up, bitch. But like, <laughs> up, if you go into Walgreens, do what you want to do, but like, understand that's going to be the first thing people see. Yep. Exactly. Okay. And is well, it complimenting you? You know? But if you want to do, fuck it, it's makeup. Do what you want to do, though, at the end of the day. Yeah, we're talking shit, but at the same time, like... Yeah, we're about to talk shit about ourselves. Are you guys ready? (laughs) Are you ready? Yeah, and you know what I love about our show is we do not talk more shit. Because honestly, there are people that are exceptions to each of the things that we have said. There are some people that can pull off full eyeliner around their eyes and it looks beautiful. There are people that could pull off bronzer all over their face and it looks awesome, you know? Thank you. There are people that could, like, do stuff like that. But, like, for the vast majority, sometimes it looks a little off. Yep. So we're going to talk to you guys about what we still fuck up. And we still <laughs> will keep fucking up because we want to do it. Yeah, and <laughs> trust us, we will not hurt each other's feelings because that's all we... Have you guys listened to our fucking show? We dog each other constantly. So I'm going to start with this one. I don't give a fuck what any of y'all say. Target. I use 
bronzer all over my face. The darker, the better. I don't care if anybody sees my real skin tone. I know. But you I have all these white. tattoos, so you can't tell. But I bet you before you had those tattoos, it was like, what the <laughs> Michael, fuck? Okay, Michael will wear a full, like, he'll wear, how many pumps of foundation you put on? About seven or eight. Of seven, Kat Von D. Seven <laughs> that is That shit is ass, shellac. Full ass fucking pumps of makeup. And then he'll fucking put bronzer on top of it. That's... Well, That's put powder before that. A little bit of powder. Yes. And then yes. And so, bronzer. but yes. you have to remember something. I am very <laughs> pale, com- believe it or not. I have, Zach used to tell me, he goes, well, you told me one time, I think, or a couple times. He goes, if it wasn't for your tattoos, everyone would be like, are you seriously walking around with that foundation color? I think I just, <laughs> <laughs> I think I just said that. <laughs> you said it to me before, motherfucker. <laughs> Anyways, I love wearing a face full of fo- uh, foundation, foundation bronzer. I just love that sun kissed look. You look like so sun there. Burnt. You look and like you... sunburnt, not sun kissed, bitch. Okay, <laughs> next, your turn, Olivia. <laughs> okay, so something that I do is I don't glue my glass. I don't glue my my lashes on right. Oh my my God, lashes yeah. are always lifting. <laughs> Always it's me too. It's my eye shape a lot of time though. And I'm just like, <laughs> so like I, I can, carry glue in my I purse. I can take more time to like be more precise, but I rather just like let that shit lift and be like, oh, let me just add a little bit here and there, try to hold that shit down. <laughs> and I'm like, my eyes all sticky and shit. <laughs> With yeah. both, you, both of you bitches. Sometimes y'all be talking to me, and I'm like, does. She or he? You guys determine which who's who. No, that's apple. <laughs> know that their lash is lifting they're just talking and talking and talking it's kind of like talking to somebody that is really drunk and their eyes are cross-eyed and you're like <laughs> like madonna <laughs> madonna doesn't drink she eats a microbiome she's her kid drink right wasn't like that was that new story when she like let her kid like he was partying with like alcohol bottles that was michael jackson I don't know when he how many his... times michael has told me like i'll tell him something serious and then michael's like your lashes lifting and walk away. And I'm like, Me? Yes. Well, who's gonna tell you? That's true. Who's though. gonna tell true. you? That's true. Bitch, I was I'm like, walking I'm around like with pouring some my heart out. My teeth all day, and it took me like 30 minutes for a girl to be like, "Oh, you have some green stuff in your tooth." And I was like, "Fuck, how long?" That's been there since lunch. I had Qdoba. <laughs> I had some fucking oregano or whatever the fuck cilantro. Okay, here's mine. I overdraw my lips. Yes, and I will you keep do. overdrawing my lips. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little Becky Buck wild. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you were little and you used to suck your lips too much and they'd be chapped on the top and <laughs> on the bottom? Sometimes I look at Zach and I'm like, is your lips chapped, motherfucker? It's just because I miss <laughs> lip injections. I just need to get some lip injections that I want. <laughs> oh my Plastic God. Plastic surgery oh, fixes your feelings. <laughs> Plastic surgery makes you a better person. Plastic surgery is... Good for everyone. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're 16, 47, 12. <laughs> okay, Who cares but, about a personality? You know One thing that I used to remember that Zach used to do is he would wear white, white concealer concealer underneath his fucking eyes. And I, I'd be that like, was when oh, I was like, oh shit. That's when I had like light hair too. I, I just had to be white girl. I could see your fucking under eyes <laughs> before I would see you. <laughs> but you never saw any wrinkles, <laughs> bitch. I look young. <laughs> <laughs> Why ass concealer straight yeah. up <laughs> oh my God, that's <laughs> shit that's so true though that's so true okay Olivia what's something else you do that you shouldn't her winged do? liner no I'm just kidding shut <laughs> up my winged liner is fine <laughs> shut up <laughs> your winged liner is pretty bomb it's, li- it's a little one I like it no not okay. right now I'm talking about back in the day Oh shit! Tell me. <laughs> you'd Tell be me. wonky ass shit, and then you'd be like, "You just want to follow the." You would do someone else's wing liner, perfect. It would look but beautiful. Like, I'd be going in different directions. And then you'd look up at me, and I'd be like, "Is she looking crooked or like <laughs> what?" And I'd be like, "Nope, just her wing." Liner. That's true. Perfect. That's true. I thought you but were you perfect. know what? It's easier that to was, do it on someone else. But that was the first time I ever found out there was somebody who like. You, it's because you have different me. shaped eyes. Yes. Somebody when you close them, they look perfect. Me. But when you open, it's. Somebody pointed out to me, I have a fucking double fold on one of my eyes. And I had no idea until this bitch brought it up. And I was like, and ever since then, I was like traumatized. And I was like, like, fuck you, bitch. Fuck this bitch. Fuck but, you, Michael. But then, like, yeah, but that's, why I, <laughs> but that's when I started to realize that my winged liner was different on each side. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, shit. I actually do my winged liner different, too, because my eyes are different shapes. And I don't ever get it right. My yeah, your eyes are, like, fucked up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mm. Just kidding. What's so, the fucked up thing you do, Michael, besides your whole routine? 
<laughs> I um, never use the correct foundation color. I right. don't have to because I dip it up bronzer. Yeah. <laughs> My foundation uh, uh, shade ranges from... Ivory to mocha. <laughs> yep. Too light, too light, or too dark. And it doesn't matter because I use the same bronzer and it just all looks the same. But then I mix it up with highlighter and blush. Oh, but, then, but didn't you put like your, high, your highlighter on your and jawline? Your jawline? <laughs> <laughs> so Zach comes up to me the other day. He goes, you know, Michael, your highlighter is supposed to accentuate... Um, your, I don't know what the fuck the high points of your face. Yeah, and I was like, well, doesn't it? And he's like, no, it's like sliding down your cheek. <laughs> so my makeup mirror, the my batteries went out, and so I'm like doing my makeup and I'm doing my in highlighter. I'm like it looks cute. And then when I got to work, he told me that. And then later in the day, I saw myself. And I'm like, it looks like I have foil. <laughs> All, All over his my, cheek, my like, jawline to his like lower eye down to his fucking jaw. Like, why does it look like just on one side? Yeah, just on one side, just on this side. I'm like, why does it look like I could use my cheek to cover up some old chicken <laughs> wings? Ninety six that we eat. Oh okay, my anyways, ninety six. But, but yeah, well, so other than that, I, oh, and I don't use the setting spray, and I'm oily as a motherfucker. I know <laughs> I should, but I don't. I love setting spray. One other mistake I do all the time in makeup routine is if I know I'm going to do a dramatic eye, like today, I'm wearing green and purple eyeshadow, like today. fucking smoked out. Smoked out. Smoked out. <laughs> smoked out. Today. But I did my foundation and concealer first, and then did my eyeshadow, and I'm like, fuck. And they got and everywhere? I fucking get everywhere, and then I have to wipe off my shit and redo everything. It's just like, yeah. So my, one of my biggest mistakes is doing my fucking eyeshadow after, because normally my quick routine, I just throw bronzer in my crease, so I do my foundation and concealer first. But if I'm going to do a dramatic look, I normally do my eyeshadow first. And today, I fucked up that. I fucked that, man. And you know, it just like, it sucks out, because then you, you go, like, you look, you're like, eyeshadow snatched, ready to throw on lashes, then you like, look down at like, the rest of your face, and you're like, why the fuck do I look like purple? Like, everywhere from all this fucking bottle. <laughs> and you go to wipe it away and it just smears it into your skin. Cause, yeah. And oh, then my that's God. Like, and then that's like just like a roller coaster of like... Uh-huh. It's like, just take it the fuck off. Don't try to cover it. Just take it off because then you're going to keep looking at it all day. You have like weird gray undertones underneath your foundation. One thing it's I've noticed shit. though with both of you bitches is you guys are both jealous of my fucking eyebrows. They're natural. They are the same eyebrows that are every magazine that you guys will see. Um, all the television stars have it. All the celebrities have my eyebrows. And these two want my brows. I want you to wash your brows off. <laughs> <laughs> Restart from scratch, bitch. Do you just not listen to my last tip? And on that note, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Glitter Farts, the podcast. No, no, no. we are officially, officially lipstick and the tea. The tea. Let- the tea. And shout out to our new Twitter and our Twitter assistant, Mickey. She's we got an assistant. We have an assistant. Mickey, what's up? She's the Twitter bitch. You know how many, you know how many She's people. coming for you. Yep, exactly. You know how many people wanted this job, Mickey? Let's not fuck it up. Three. <laughs> Me, Michael, and Olivia. But none of us can trust each other. Nope. <laughs> Anyways, um, let us know what your... Uh, Pet peeves is- are. Also, let us know what the fuck you do that you will keep doing. Because I will keep overdrawing my lips. You know? Um, Michael yeah. will keep you I will keep there. just re-gluing my lashes on throughout <laughs> <Yeah>. the day. <laughs> Olivia will keep talking about her double folds. <laughs> Shut up. Quit her double folds her... and her Adam's apple. <laughs> Wait, her double folds? Are you talking about her boobs? <laughs> My double fold boobs? <laughs> Wait. I told you that in privacy. Let's not go there. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. We love you. And we Oh, are... subscribe, you guys. Shit. Please, oh, my God. Subscribe. Please subscribe. We need to get paid from this shit, so we need some subscribers. <laughs> that's, not, that's not true. We do this from our heart because we love it. Uh uh-uh. uh. My heart doesn't buy chicken it. wings, my wallet does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, bye. Bye. Thank you, next, Ariana Grande.